Today I'm going to be using necklace memory wire to make a bypass ring. It's so easy, so cute, and I think you're going to love it. The inspiration for this project comes from the beads. These are shell pearls right here, and they are so beautiful, so lustrous, and they have holes that are large enough to fit on the end of necklace memory wire. So they make a really beautiful statement ring. Let's go over the tools and supplies for this project. You're gonna need chain nose pliers, a flush cutter, a memory wire cutter, a wrap and top plier, a ring mandrel, some glue, two flat head pins that match your necklace memory wire, heavy duty necklace memory wire, and two shell pearls. All right, let's get started. First, get your necklace memory wire and your cutter. And cut almost one rotation. You have to use a special cutter for memory wire, otherwise it will break your tools and leave a little notch in the back of it. Next, we're gonna grab our wrap and top plier and using the smallest circle, we're gonna start making a coil. So grab the end of your piece and we're just gonna go with the grain of the memory wire. You really have to just wrap it around. So once you wrap it around a few times, you can go ahead and trim off your wire. Okay, so now we can put it on our ring mandrel and get it out to size. Right now it's about a size seven and a half. I want to make it a little bit bigger, so I'm just gonna put it out around the nine. Okay, now start to spread these apart. Okay. You may need to pull the tails out a little bit more than others, other parts. Like that and that. And now we are ready to glue. Go ahead and check and make sure that your pearls fit on the end of your memory wire. If one side doesn't work, just flip it over and try the other side. Okay, so now I'll take them off and I'm gonna do a little bit of gluing. And another little tip is if you have a file, you can rough up the ends a little bit if you want, want to just create a more secure bond. But I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna be using Bead Fix Gel Glue. I'm just gonna put a little bit on here and just dip the end of my ring in that glue just a little bit. And now slide your pearl on. All right, and then do the other side. 
Dip it in the glue. Okay, so now I would go ahead and let that dry for a while before doing the next step. So take two head pins that match the color of your memory wire, and we're gonna create little end caps that'll go in the holes on the pearl. So these are just flat head pins right here. And I'm gonna cut them down using my flush cutter to about two or three millimeters each. And using a little piece of scrap wire, I'm just gonna put a tiny, tiny, tiny dot of glue up at the top of this pearl. And then I like to grab a little plier, pick up the little metal piece, and then just drop it into that hole. So then you just let that dry. And it just kind of makes it look a little bit more finished, but it is optional. And then you just do the same thing on the other side. And then you're done. Let's go over the tools and supplies for this project. We're gonna need heavy duty necklace memory wire, two pearls that fit on that memory wire, bead fix gel, two head pins that match your memory wire, a ring mandrel, a flush cutter, wrap and tap plier, memory wire cutter, and chain nose pliers. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that project. I know I did. I love using necklace memory wire in an unexpected way. If you need to pick up any of the tools or supplies we used today, check out the links in the description below. And while you're there, let us know, what other creative ways do you use memory wire? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Thanks for watching.